right, guys. Jason here up in the cockpit now. A Class Delta, Class D uh, arrival video here. First thing is first. Again, I have my airport diagram. Everything else is out. I want to go ahead and grab that ADA, see if anything's changed since the last time around. Bird activity, large box of buzzers, all quadrants around the airport. At the eyes on initial contact, you have information golf. All right, information okay. golf. Information golf, 1750 Zulu weather. Wind calm, visibility 10. Night conditions are clear below 12,000. Temperature 20, 2.8. Now, temperature 3012. Landing in the parking runway 36, visual approach in use. Notice airmen, caution bird activity, large box of buzzers, all Around the All right, we have got information going. I'm going to turn tower up here. Sound like they're getting... Okay, uh, just advise when you're reestablished on the final end. Just a 1-2 uniform, continue on the left downwind and uh, look for a sky lane about uh, two and a half miles south, making a left uh, 360 back to the uh, final. Sounds like they're having a little bit of an issue down there. Somebody's having to do a 360 on final. Regardless, I want to go ahead and give them a cold call. And I want to tell him where I'm at. I'm only seven miles out. i got to make a radio call here relatively quick. Ocala Tower, Skyhawk, 7-1, Quebec. Skyhawk, 7-1, Quebec, is it, sir? Uh, no, sir, 7-1, Quebec. And I'm uh, seven miles to the southwest with Gulf inbound full stop. Skyhawk, 5-9, Quebec, report 3 southwest for the uh, left base to uh, runway 36. Three southwest for the base for runway 36. You've got it, 7159 Quebec. And Skyline 36 Tango, uh, runway uh, 36, you're cleared for touch and go. The wind is calm. Clear for touch and go and then left traffic. Your traffic's on the go. 36 Tango. Just one, two uniform. Uh, you're I'm trying to listen to all these guys and kind of take in what's happening here real quick. I don't mean to be quiet. I'm dog leg. Uh, I am all lit up, lights up before landing checklist complete. So what, this is cool because how I'm coming in, he wants me to enter on a, a three mile left base and report that to him. So all I'm going to do is when I'm three miles from the airport on a left base for runway 36. Just a one two uniform, you can go ahead and start your base, your traffic. I'm going to give him a call and tell him that. All right. So he's number two. I've got one on final. There's one that's on a downwind starting base soon. That's that one right there, I believe. Yeah. Nine to five, Victor. If you'd like, uh, flight following Jack's approach is one more. That one's turn base. I'm gonna swing out here a little more and just give these guys a little bit of space because some sort of fiasco is happening over there. I want nothing to do with it. I want them on the ground before I get in there. So I'm gonna angle myself out a little bit more. Up three. Up three, Ocala Tower. Up three to the Alpha One. Would like to proceed on Alpha and then on the runway eight two six. Up three, Roger. Getting busy here. Everybody's doing something. I'm just a nice slow descent on down. Ocala Tower, Centurion 5767 Juliet. Centurion 5767 Juliet, Ocala Tower. 5767 Juliet is 7 miles southeast, inbound for a photo mission 3 miles east of the field at 1000. Centurion 67 uh, Juliet, Roger. Uh, just uh, advise when you're on station, the uh, altimeter is 3010. Okay. Alright, I'm just about my 3 miles. And I'm going to do him a favor and tell him I got the traffic on final in sight as well. I think that'll help him out a little bit. And Ocala Tower, Skyhawk 7159er, Quebec. Uh, three mile, left base, 36, half the traffic on final in sight. Skyhawk 59er, Quebec, roger number two uh, on the uh, Skyhawk on final, runway 36, you're cleared to land, wind calm. Number two, clear to land, 36, thank you, 7159 Quebec. All right, so now what you can do in a situation like this where a guy's coming across final, you can kind of aim towards his tail. Now, he's going to continue working through there, but you can kind of aim to his tail. Now, this is what's interesting, too. I just entered on a base. I didn't have all that time to descend and get down, so I want to put myself in a position where I would be on a normal left base. When we talk about a perfect land starts with a perfect pattern. So in this case, I'm a little bit high right now. I need to, I need to get on down. I'm still three miles out, though. Yeah, I've got that bird in sight. And just keep this thing coming on down. All right, he's over top the numbers. I'm just going to keep flying my base. I still need to get down a little bit, though, here. I'm going to make this a, a normal base. Finals looking clear. Don't see anybody else floating around out there. Down, down. And on base, I normally have about 20 degrees of flaps. I got my 20 degrees of flaps in. Carpet's on. Everything looks good. Mixture's full rich. Uh, before landing checklist is complete. And we're on base about, uh, about two miles out. About a... About a thousand feet, not too bad. I'd normally like to be about seven hundred feet in this this case. Uniform turn right off the But uh, but not too shabby. I think ahead of the airplane here, I'm gonna get my ground frequency in. That's all good.
What you got? Yep, got that guy departing out there. Looking good. He's been coming down. Airspeed's looking good. Now he are. 6270, no delay, runway 36 at Alpha 10, cleared for Ooh. On left base. He's going to clear this guy for takeoff here. Clear to go, uh, runway 36. Oh, jeez. I love it. As I'm turning. Five knock back traffic assessment departing ahead of you. Inside, thank you, Five Knock back. And I hope I don't have to do a go around, but we'll find out here in a second. Six Tango, number two, you're following a uh, Skyhawk on about a uh, half mile final. Get down on the runway. Six Tango, number two, I have the Skyhawk in sight. Skyline three six Tango, Roger, your traffic is full stop. Thank you, will be gone. Time. Six clear for touch and go. For touch and go, and after this touch and go, I'll be departing. Not only did you see a class Delta arrival, but a busy one at that. And uh, Skyline three six Tango, Roger, uh, right turn right up top. Three six Tango. Right looking right. good, right on final. Airspeed's looking good. Altitude's looking good. So I'll call it Tower Century and 5767 Juliet, all done here. I'd like to depart uh, southwest bound. Okay, uh, Centurion 67 Juliet, uh, Roger. Uh, I have you in sight. That's approved as requested. I've got a uh, Skyline just uh, west of the. Uh, Everything's looking good. On the left, yeah, I want to be there. Airspeed's looking go. good. Okay. So if, you, uh, if you'll just go across about three miles. Yeah, a little windy. He said wind's calm. I don't know about that. I'm getting bumped around here pretty good. As we come on in, right turn out of center line, taking those eyes down that runway, and just holding it off here. A little bit of a, a bump up. So much for the calm winds, huh? And we'll do him a favor. Back, uh, turn right, Alpha 8, and are you uh, taxing to parking? Alpha 8, and yes, sir, back to the north T hangers. Okay, uh, you can taxi via Alpha and uh, monitor ground point four if you would. Via Alpha, monitor ground. You've got it. 715 Iron Quebec, thank you. All right, so now he told us something interesting here. He told me, taxi back to where I'm going to, and to monitor ground. That means I don't have to call up ground, per se, so I'm going to switch to ground. I'm on ground. Let me make sure I'm all cleaned up. Turn Good afternoon. Uh, nice lights uh, off here. Ground, Mooney 927 Golf. And he Romeo. told me to just taxi to the ramp ready for taxi. and monitor Mooney ground. Golf Romeo, Cali ground. Uh, Roger, are you okay. ready for your IFR plans? I'm just going to fly VFR this trip, sir. Now, now, all that means is I just have to simply listen. Tower basically cleared me to where I want to go. He asked me to monitor ground, which is going to be interesting because it sounds like this guy is going to want to be coming out. We only have one taxiway, so we'll see how this works out here in a second. 7 Golf Romeo, Roger, only 3-6 taxi via taxiway Alpha. Hold short of Alpha. Holding short of Alpha. Oh, he's going to have him hold short. And again, so you hear that a lot. Monitor ground. I don't have to call ground up. He's trying to do the ground, the ground guy a favor. I just need to listen. Is all I need to do. Okay, six ten, Papa, stand by, please. I'm working on your clearance. Yes, sir. Just need you to let you know we gotta be off frequency for a few minutes. We'll call you back when we're ready for a copy and clearance. Sounds like he's awfully busy too. So we're just gonna continue our taxi here and monitor ground. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty cool. You got to see. <laughs> You didn't just get to see a. You didn't get to see an easy class Delta uh, arrival. That's for sure. That was a little more complex when we had somebody out there doing a 360, mistimed their approach. Apparently, uh, the ground ops guy going around, someone doing a photo flight. Uh, very, very busy for a little class Delta. Delta Romeo, I have a uh, aircraft taxiing inbound right now on Alpha. Affirmative, same sir. Make sure they know that. Okay. Uh, you got to see a very complex. Uh, work. Now it's not always this crazy. Uh, but this is a great example to show you kind of how it can be. Hey, you've just got to have your radio calls known ahead of time. Hey, you've got to be prepared. You've got to have your taxiway diagram out. Have the ATIS down pat. Know what you're getting yourself into ahead of time. Think ahead of that airplane. Notice as we were flying in, I had the ground frequency as my standby frequency. Thinking ahead of that airplane as much as I possibly can. That is what's going to help you guys a ton. Think ahead of that airplane, and your radio communications are going to get a whole lot easier in that case. So, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your day as well. Any questions, guys, scroll down. There's a comment box below this video. If you leave me a comment on M0A.com, you know you'll get a reply from me. So, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Hey there, if you think this video was good, you're going to love the over 400 other videos inside our exclusive members only online ground school. Ground School Academy members enjoy weekly live webinars, mock check rides, and customized written test prep. 
Ground School Academy members not only have access to the number one rated online ground school, but also the best guarantee in the industry. Pass your check ride or we'll pay for it. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more and become an online ground school member today.